more creek than it is a road now. My track is disgusting. It's a sloppy mess. It feels heavy. Hey, you probably got like half a ton of it caked to the outside. There goes my fuel economy. Yeah, it's ruined now. What's up guys, we are out in Utah at uh, a nuclear missile silo? Yes. An abandoned nuclear missile silo. That's where we're starting the video today, guys. We've got Kara from Ozark Overland Adventures. Hey guys. And we've got uh, Rob from Revere Overland and myself. What's in this hole? A computer. A computer. A Lots computer? of beer cans. We are standing on top of a nuclear missile launch site. Do you think we gotta both turn a key at the same time to launch? Is that? Did you bring the code book? I did bring the code book. Was it? The, and the one time use keys, right? Yeah. The biscuit. Uh, we can go in. You want to go into the, lo the uh, control obviously. room? Yeah, like you need door handles to operate. Do you bring a door handle with you? Uh, yeah, I take one with me everywhere. Oh, Who goes operating me. without spare door handles, man? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. This is the control room? I don't, I don't know. I was just kind of making it up. It seems right. We have entered a mysterious tunnel in a nuclear missile silo. What could go wrong? Get me out of here. I'm not going back through this thing, dude. No. <laughs> you see how much poop there is there? The, the, whatever this is, it just goes straight down. And there's another one of those tubes that goes on the road. But I am not, oh, there's something dead. Dude, I'm telling you, this is cable. There's, there's something dead. What? There's something dead. Two things dead. Like what kind of things? Oh, no, three things dead. So it looks like there's a storage building over there. We think where they stored the nuclear missiles. We're gonna see if we can drive through it and head further into the base. Worth coming. It wasn't even worth it. From here, we'll be heading deep into the San Rafael Swell, one of the most interesting and beautiful areas of Utah. All right, guys, we're just getting aired down. We're going to continue exploring. We're going to head into this canyon here behind us and uh, see what we can find. Eventually, find somewhere to camp for the night. Carry on tomorrow. It's going to be a good day. Stick around. All right, this route is marked on Onyx, so this is where we're going to be going through here. Going to need a new alignment after this trail. Yeah, that last one was rough. An alignment? What's that? Are you telling me my steering wheel's not supposed to be upside down? Yeah, you're actually supposed to read the word Jeep. Oh, I thought that said burr. Is it going to say beer or deer? Stop trying to spell it upside down. <laughs> It's not upside down, that's right, upside up. Yours is upside down. So Rob, the question I like to ask everybody about pictographs in Utah is, yes. are they aliens and why do you think they're aliens? Uh, we were just at Area 51, where it said aliens are real, on the wall. I'm convinced. I mean, TV head over there. Yeah, that's... It's a TV man yeah. from space. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's like a dinosaur chicken dog. This trip was already off to a spectacular start. We're just out here solving the mysteries of space, time, and the universe. Heck yeah. I get snowing up there. Looking definitely dark ahead of us. Turn it on my heated steering wheel. Just a bit 
further down the wash, we've come to a rock obstacle. There's a bypass for it, but we all decide to have a go at the fun route. going. You're a turtle! <laughs> it just started snowing. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Now the sun's gone away. It's miserable. Are you going to try again? Um. Driver. Driver. I've got it. Stuck the cam. Hello. How are you feeling right now? Defeated, discouraged. Uh, uh. I got it. Yeah, you're so strong. We don't, we don't even need winches around here. Sometimes when you're driving through here, it feels hard to believe your surroundings. It's wild and beautiful. I can't believe it's snowing out here, it's crazy. That view back along the valley we came from is really cool with all that snow. Two times snow in Moab in one week. I think you're bringing it with you, man all these mountains in the background and the red rocks and stuff. It just goes so well with snow. And it's just not normal for the area. You don't think of it because it's desert. Snow was not in our plans, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't excite me a little bit and make things potentially a bit more interesting. Just pops back out onto the highway, doesn't it? Uh, we can take a right further along it, uh, right before you get to the highway and head up towards the wedge overlook. Okay, that's a great spot to camp. All right, we've been driving for quite a bit here. We've just stopped to kind of decide what we're gonna do. There's there's two different ways we can go. We can go this way and get up on top of these cliffs. Though it's quite cold. I don't know if we wanna camp up there. It's like minus four Celsius. It's been snowing, it's not snowing right now, but uh, the other option is we can go this way along the base of these cliffs, which may be longer and technical, more technical, according to Onyx. So, we're gonna make a choice here. I wanna go up there and I think that's where I'm gonna turn around and then come back. Okay. Because I think that'll be a better shot for me. I think that would be a good place to turn around. Yeah. Because if we get going down there, you're gonna be stuck down there with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And I really wanna go into that. So you're thinking, head up to the overlook? Head up to the overlook. It's so much fun exploring out here. This terrain is just crazy. It's so beautiful. Holy cow, y'all, this is incredible. We found a cave. I'm gonna go check it out. It looks like there's pictographs, but I'm not sure if it's just graffiti. 
satanic rituals have been going on in here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, y'all. Wow. This is just sad. This is sad. Look at this ancient uh, pictograph. This who is... am I? Hey, who comes to like a place like this and does stuff like this? That one just says bruh. It says bruh? <laughs> bruh. Right there. <laughs> Future civilizations are going to find this and they're going to be like, what does bra mean? <laughs>
mentioned to you how much I love Utah. I, I come here like four or five times a year, and every time I go somewhere new, and it's always beautiful. It doesn't matter where you go. Yeah, I think Utah is my favorite place. I love both the, the scenic exploring side and the, the trail side. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's just a little bit of everything. I'm really glad that I decided to spend a considerable amount of time here on this trip. Just ahead, the trail conditions were about to change dramatically and unexpectedly. Trail's flooded up here. Yeah, I see that. It's pretty sloppy back here, too. All this snow melt has just turned this into a slop river. This is the kind of stuff that your Toyo Mud's rains and my RT trails have made for. They're just eating it up. Yeah, these tires are killing it. Man. Run into a group. I think there's some winching going on. Does look like it. All right, we just came across this tundra stuck uh, with the trailer and some mud. So he's hooked up his winch line to me. Good. Good. And we're gonna see if uh, we can use me as an anchor point because there's no trees around here. There we go. Yeah, I'm out. The truck's out. Let me get the winch off. We'll get the rope off, and then I'll see if I just pull the trailer. No problem. I'm hoping that'll be the case. That's right. Is that like a tent know. trailer? Yeah, I've been watching these guys on Australia use them. And oh, yeah? You know, I got six kids, so I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice. You can still go out and dry it. And yeah. I've done a few small trips. This is the first one where it's been muddy and nasty, so. What happened? You just go. I went, you know, we, we actually came, we came in to go, that's where the copper uh, glow mine is, so we've been there all afternoon. And going in, there wasn't any problem, and on the way out, it, like, the, the tongue, the tongue hit like rock, so, they, the, you know, the angles were different on the way, coming yeah, this yeah. way and going that way. And then I was, it was pretty sloppy. I was, hasty, and I was like, well, go slow, maybe he can come through. Because I was hoping, I was hoping him, you know, winch him to a tree and then connect to his back bumper, then pull out that way. Gotcha. But then I got, did I, you know. We rushed too fast with them. Should've, should've Glad we showed up at the right time. <laughs> Me too. Like I said, I've never dug a giant hole. <laughs> well, you know, you try to be prepared. I, yeah. don't, I don't know if that would have worked, but it's made for like sand recoveries. Sorry, I've sorry. never, I've never used it Atlantic? before. Yeah, it's like called the Dead Man was the brand. Oh yeah. Yeah, go take a look at it. Oh, I see. And you just fill it with sand. Fill it with dirt. One, I've had to winch one time in a sandy location. And thankfully, that's just like this most bedraggled looking bush off to the side, and I was able to winch <laughs> off that. If it hadn't been there, this would have been a lifesaver. This is your people, Rob. It's Tundra. I know, right? <laughs> Doing so well. Yeah. <laughs> you can see there's quite a bit of a hole here that it was stuck in. Unfortunately, the second vehicle was completely off the trail as they decided to go around the tundra, so there was no choice but to do the same in order to recover it and get them out. Nice. Where does that live? This, this lives in the back of the truck now, <laughs> where it will get uh, mud on it. Oh, wet now. <laughs> Thank you guys. No problem. Way to help.
The mud on this trail from the uh, snow melt is just crazy slop, it but it's uh, it's making the adventure a little bit interesting. You can see the trail destroyer is uh, coated in some some muck, and uh, luckily we came along and we're able to to help these people out here. They had that cool dead man's anchor. Yeah, that works well. I wish we'd shown up. A it's too bad earlier. we didn't. Sh <laughs> we showed up after they finished digging a giant <laughs> hole for it. Well, we're gonna keep going and uh, see how much more slop we can drive through. This is more creek than it is road now. My truck is disgusting. It's a sloppy man. It feels heavy. Man, you probably got like half a ton of it caked to the outside. There goes my fuel economy. Yeah, it's ruined now. The whole area here had just completely turned to mud from the melt. We had to just keep pushing forward through all the muck. mud everywhere my truck feels heavier because it's covered in mud and I'm covered in mud I love it this is so much fun finally we had gained some elevation and gotten up onto more solid ground there appears to be a trail to the left and also to the right the main trail is to the right yeah we want to go left here yep that's cool oh my wow, look at that that's a cliff edge. Yep, that's cool. turning out fantastic so far today. an extreme wind warning in effect so basically Rob and I are trying to find 
a campsite that's a little bit sheltered just in case it gets crazy it's like a pretty serious wind warning I guess there's tornadoes going on in some parts of the country and you know big wind movements so no tornadoes here just like 60 mile per hour winds so yeah a little shelter would be good wow this is sloppy do we want to go back and go the other way I like this way that is some deep slop. I feel sorry for the owners of the Moab uh, self-serve car wash when we get back. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad day for them. Heck yeah. going and see um, where it pops out. As we climbed up on top of the Badlands, the sun was setting in the distance, making for some spectacular views. guys we've been driving all day the sun is starting to go down we wanted to find a fairly sheltered area to keep warm for the night so we drove down into this canyon just pulled off to the side of the road we're gonna set up camp here and get a good night's sleep how about that drive Rob? that was beautiful was that I, incredible i'm gonna have to pull out the drone footage and just watch it back because yeah. just coming through those badlands with the red and the golds and the sun it looked like we were on mars yeah it's that was worth coming out here just for that. So many things were worth yeah. coming out here. This trip's been incredible. It has been. It has a little bit of everything. Yeah. We've got a decent campsite. Yeah. Nice and sheltered. What are you using for heat? Uh, I have a heated blanket and I was hoping that uh, someone had an anchor around here that I may be able to <laughs> plug into to run it yeah, off. Totally. I've got an extension cord here. Just plug her into that guy right there. Thank you. And you shall be warm. You've got all my lights in the truck running off the anchor 767 powerhouse. You can charge it up to a thousand watts of solar. It's got fast charging. It even has a 30 volt plug for your trailer. Which is kind of cool right now because we're living in a tent trailer in Moab. So if I need to get some extra juice, I can. And I'm using it to keep warm tonight with my diesel heater, which is running off the 12 volt port. So 2048 watt hours is a lot of power. I've yet to drain this thing. I have it charging from the uh, 240 watt solar panels on the roof of the GFC. And that's all I've been using to charge it while I'm here in Utah because it's so sunny. Definitely my new favorite battery. Check out my link in the description if you want to know more.
By the way, guys, we recently passed 200,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna try to get to 250,000 subscribers this year, a quarter mil. So if you're not already subscribed, about 50% of people watching, according to YouTube, are not subscribed. Appreciate it if you hit that button. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much. this morning. It's a little chilly this morning. Yeah. How'd you sleep with your diesel heater? you good. Not so good with my jacket pillow. <laughs> because we're sleeping in a tent trailer in Moab, I left my pillow in there, so I'd use my jacket as a pillow. Not the greatest. Yeah, a windstorm never really materialized. Oh. Eh? Wind warning, 30 to 40 mile an hour wind with 60 mile an hour gusts. Yeah, sun's gonna come up warm us right up and then we're going to continue on on this trail and we're going to head for a crazy overlook look in the canyon Dude, are those dinosaur poops? Those are dinosaur poops. I mean, if the river's as dry as that one we just crossed, we can probably drive right across without a bridge anyway. That is true. Yep, it's closed. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's there's a bypass. Why did they close it? Then you don't even need a bridge. <laughs> Why are they even building a bridge here? <laughs> Dumbest detail I've ever seen. We'd seen so much already on this trip, and I wasn't prepared for the scale of the overlook we were approaching, and some of the best views I'd ever seen. This might be one of the best viewpoints that I've ever found. This is incredible. Even behind us is just amazing. What do you think, Rob? One of the best spots ever? Yeah, I, I don't know what I can add to this that the drone footage hasn't already said. <laughs> Speechless. Yeah. Well guys, on that note, I think we're gonna end this video here. So make sure you're subscribed. Lots more crazy trips coming up in the next few weeks. Appreciate you guys. See you next week. Oh,